Classify the quadrilateral whose vertices are a, 2, negative 3, b, negative 2, negative 2, c, 4, negative 1, and d, 0, 0. So let's plot the points and see what we can do from there. So 2, negative 3, that's a. b is negative 2, negative 2. c is 4, negative 1. And d is 0, 0. I'm going to go ahead and connect the vertices now. Okay, classify the quadrilateral. Now we're using distance criteria, and if we have a parallelogram, the opposite sides are congruent. In other words, the distances have to be the same. So that means BD has to equal AC and BA has to equal DC. Okay, so let's take a look. BD and AC, BD squared equals this up 2 over 2 so it's going to be 2 squared plus 2 squared so BD squared equals 4 plus 4 equals 8 so BD equals square root of 8 now let's look at AC and see if it has the same value up to right 2 and remember, we're just using right triangles here to represent the distance, because AC is the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So I'm just counting up to and then right to. So AC squared equals 2 squared plus 2 squared as well. So I'm just going to say AC equals square root 8. And I'm going to say it's following the same work up above, because BD squared is 2 squared plus 2 squared and AC squared is 2 squared plus 2 squared, so they're both equal to square root 8. Also, BA is going to have to equal DC. So let's check BA. BA squared is going to be, so we have 1 down, and then it's 4 over for that triangle. So it's going to be 1 squared plus 4 squared equals 1 plus 16 equals 17. So BA equals square root 17. Let's look at DC. 1 down over 4 as well. So DC squared is 1 squared plus 4 squared, which is also going to be 17. So that means DC equals square root 17. So check. BA equals DC. So that means we have a parallelogram. Okay, now we need to look and see if we have anything special about the parallelogram that would make it a rectangle, rhombus, or square. Well, just by inspection, it's not a rhombus. You can easily see that you have a pair of sides longer than the other pair. And also, it's not a rectangle. Because if you draw the diagonals, the diagonals aren't congruent. And, you know, actually that looks close enough where maybe we should just check the diagonals and see. So the distance from B to C, that's up 1, and then write 6 for the right triangle. So BC squared equals... 1 squared plus 6 squared, which is 1 plus 36, which is 37. So BC equals square root of 37. Now let's check DA. DA, the right triangle there, is down 2 and right 3 to get from D to A. So DA squared is 3 squared plus 2 squared. which is going to be 9 plus 4, so DA 
squared is 13. So dA equals square root 13. So let's look, square root 37, square root 13, that's really not very close, um, but it's, it's definitely not a rectangle. So we're just going to say parallelogram. And that's based on these two guys here that we proved, that both pairs of opposite sides are congruent.